Happy Friday, Nerd Talkers. How's everyone doing this week? We have a very big week in comics because this Wednesday marked like four or five number ones, and I'm going to be talking about them now. Intro. So as I said, this Wednesday was really big because it marked a lot of number ones, especially for Marvel's fresh start. Uh, it saw the release of Doctor Strange, Deadpool, Immortal Hulk, uh, as well as Ant-Man and the Wasp. Whereas on the other side, DC released Justice League, written by Scott Snyder. I love him. I was really excited about that. So today I'm going to give you reviews for Deadpool, Doctor Strange, Immortal Hulk, and Justice League, starting with Deadpool. So right off the heels of Deadpool 2, you have Deadpool issue 1. It is starting a new series with the Freaky Fresh start, and I'll admit this one was probably my least favorite of the bunch. With Deadpool, I understand, you know, he has to say a lot of things, but usually when he says stuff, it tends to be hilarious. This book, I, I didn't chuckle, like, at all, and... The one time I smiled was like he wasn't even there. It was somewhere off in another part of the galaxy. Deadpool was really, really boring to me, which is a sentence I never thought I would ever say. Deadpool 2 was so good and it did Deadpool so awesome. And I've read good Deadpool comics before. This is not one of them. I didn't really enjoy a lot of the story itself. And... The parts I did enjoy had to do with him having to come up with a sentimental backstory and there's a lot of nods to other heroes, both Marvel and DC. That part was funny, the rest of the story I just didn't do it for me. I found myself bored and I probably won't continue this run of Deadpool. Moving on to the Sorcerer Supreme, Doctor Strange written by Mark Wade. Now Mark Wade, if you know him, he's a very talented writer, he did amazing work with Daredevil back a few years ago, so I was really excited to see what he does with Doctor Strange. Now this one was very interesting because he strips Doctor Strange away of his magical abilities. He is no longer the Sorcerer Supreme. His, his tapping of Earth's magical power is cut off. He cannot access magic. He can't cast spells. He is a normal dude. And it was a lot like the time where he broke his hands and he was soul searching trying to figure out how to heal his hands and his purpose and stuff. So it had a lot of nods to that and it had potential moving forward just to see, okay, we've stripped Stephen Strange of his powers. Let's see what happens. That is always a really, really cool story and I'm excited to see where that goes, especially because they send him to space. More on that later. But I am genuinely interested. I was excited to see what Mark Wade did with the Sorcerer Supreme and it doesn't look like we're going to get a lot of magic here and there, at least with him, but you are going to have an interstellar galactic adventure with the Sorcerer Supreme, so that's pretty cool. Moving on to the next one, I, one I was really excited about, the Immortal Hulk. So, if you read Civil War II back a few years ago, you knew that Bruce Banner had been shot in the head by Hawkeye and died. With Immortal Hulk, ugh, he comes back with a vengeance. He is straight up a horror movie villain, and it was awesome. Really, there's not a lot of, hey, this is where the story's gonna go. It was very, this is the situation that happened. Hulk shows up, and it's great, and then the story ends. It's very simple, very small story as of right now, but oh my goodness gracious, I, I really, really enjoyed this small story itself. I would have loved to have seen this in like a TV show. I feel like I've seen it in horror movies. It was awesome. He is a horror movie villain and it was great. Moving on into the last book for today, Justice League written by Scott Snyder. Now, Scott Snyder, I know you've heard that name because he wrote the New 52 Batman, which was an amazing run, probably one of my favorite comic runs of all time. I was really excited to see what he does with the ensemble cast of the Justice League. And for the most part, he does not disappoint, for sure. It is always good writing when we're talking about Scott Snyder, and he always has a bigger plan in mind, and this looks like one of, if not the biggest stakes event I've seen in DC in a long time, like multiverse. It had some pretty cool twists 
uh, you had a big spotlight on what the Martian Manhunter can do. And he does this thing where he like telepathically links the entire Justice League and there's a couple panels where they're talking to each other via telepathy, via John Jones, which was really, really cool because they're all like doing a Batman voice they're all playing off of that and teasing him about that and it was that was i think my favorite part and i want to see a lot more of that moving forward uh as well as to see where this story is going because i'm genuinely excited it looks like it's gonna be huge especially with the villains that are playing into this it's it's gonna be very interesting and they are in good hands with scott snyder he will do a very good job so in closing this was a pretty good week you had a lot of number ones a lot of starting off and a good pick of where you want to start with either of these characters. I think you'll find some enjoyment in any of them. Maybe not Deadpool's comic, but you got a movie for that, so enjoy that. I'm excited to see moving forward. I'll definitely be picking these up, and I'll let you know about them later on. Just to remind you guys, we do have a giveaway coming up in the next couple of days that we're going to give you more information about. So be watching our videos, be keeping in the know so you can see what this is and when it is that it is going to occur. So are you going to pick up these number ones? Are you excited about what's going on with Marvel and DC in the comic realm? Let us know in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, it's been real, guys. With the next issue of Immortal Hulk, you will see him fight a glowing feral ghoul from Fallout. This is crazy. Marvel's fresh start, more like freaky fresh freaking send them to space.